Hello everyone, welcome to beamodeler.com. In this video tutorial, we'll be learning how to create a sloped pipe in Revit. If you are new to sanitary, so sanitary pipes are gravity based pipe works, which is the water flow will be based on the gravity. We have to create a pipe which will have a slope so that the water, the waste water will be flowed automatically to the towards the ground from the top of the building to the downside. You, are, you also need to know that by mistake we, we will be creating a pipes with the slope sometime. We have to know that how to remove those slope from the pipe. With that, let's start. Consider this, uh, we have the pipes, there are two pipes, two to four pipes are available. Uh, if you are taking the section box out of this, what I did is I have created a two pipes which is in different elevation, maybe saying 900, other two pipes are in different elevations, maybe the elevation is 50, like this. While if you are creating a pipe, you must be able to see these, these options are available by default. I'm explaining you this what is vertical add vertical by default this option will be enabled as symbol shows you'll be able to create a pipe from here to here like this or you can clearly see that the pipes are going down or you can drag this and drop on this pipe work so what happens in this time the elements will be created as from the top to bottom as dropping as a dropping pipe. When your options are like this, change slope. If you drag this and drop it, you can see that the pipe itself changes in the slope value. You can select the other pipe, there is no slope value, but if you select this one, it contains a slope value like this. Even after making the control is it going to the flow plan if you are creating a new pipe the option to do the chain slope from here to here now if you go ahead and see that after creating the pipe you must be seeing the pipes running through the slope value and then it's connecting From the bottom example, if you see that we have the pipes, series of pipes which is running like this in section which is running like this. If you need a slope in this pipe, you'll be able to do the selection. We need the slope for these pipes from here to here. You can select one element, the end element and you can use the tab key from this element so it means we have to select from this element to this element it will be easy to select once it is done we have to go ahead and see the option of the selection slope value click the slope and you'll be able to assign a slope value in this place and finish it while assigning it you must be seen an arrow in this place it means the pipes are going to upwards in this direction You can select the pipe, it will show the property as 1 is to 100. It's a middle pipe, you cannot change the slope value. If you are selecting the last pipe, you can see that the other also 1 is to 100 together all. To remove that, in a similar way, you can select the pipe like this and use the tab key to select the elements. Slope. Change this as 1 is to 0 and finish it. If you want to unless if you want to create a pipe in the initial time as sloped value you can use the pipe work and you can turn on the pipe work upwards or downwards either ways use the value that you want to create at what gap so let me create a pipe which is 1 is to 100 like this once the pipes are created in 1 is to 100, you'll be able to go back to the 
3D section box and see the pipes. It will be sloped as 1 is to 100 like this. In a similar way, you can tab and select it, slope, and you will be able to remove as 1 is to 0 to make, make changes as without slope. I hope you understand how to create a slope to pipes and if you have any questions you can leave your comments I will be able to address that later. Thank you so much for watching. See you on the next tutorial.